So many situations in life require us to act with courage. Struggles, disappointments, battles, accusations, and they all tempt us to give in. But one of the things that requires the most courage is when we've messed up and have to face it. How do you summon the courage of a hero when your own actions have been less than heroic? In the book of Judges, we get the story of Jephthah, who's called a warrior and a man of great valor. And yeah, he overcomes a lot of obstacles in life. He was the son of a prostitute. So his half-brothers drove him out of his own tribe. But he became a respected leader among the ruffians in the hills. And then when need arose, he returned to lead his people to conquer their enemies. And in all this, he honored God and God's precepts. But then one day before battle, he made a vow that he would dedicate to God whatever household creature met him first on his way home from victory. You know, maybe he was trying to encourage God to give him the victory, but it was a bit rash. And when Jephthah got home after the battle, it wasn't an animal or a servant that met him first. It was his daughter, his only child. And Jephthah was suddenly faced with the prospect of giving up his daughter. Well, with the brave help of his very humble daughter, he ended up dedicating the girl to lifelong service to the Lord, meaning that she would never marry and she would never have children and the line of Gideon was ended. It's such a frustrating story because it seems so unnecessary. You know, like, like Jephthah, after overcoming so much, basically ruins his family with this silly, well-intentioned vow. I mean, here was a guy who was trying his best. Couldn't he just go back on his word a little bit? That seems like something the Lord could have forgiven. But the story at least shows a family doing its level best to live with courage and integrity, and, and maybe that counts. Maybe the thing that compelled Jephthah to honor his word was the very thing that made him the overcomer and the warrior that his people needed. How important is it to you to live with integrity, to honor your word, to, to hold to truth, even when you've messed up? Do you cover up or do you face up? Do you make exceptions or are you exceptionally brave? And, and what effect does that have on your life, do you think? It's a complicated question.